So I'm making a sort of uh, no bake, no fuss um, cheesecake. In here I've got half a tub of uh, cork, teaspoon of vanilla, uh, a small banana, ripe. Just going to mash that up. And I might just add a little bit of true root into there as well. Just going to finish mashing that and then we can start building the rest of the cheesecake. So in here I've got one Warburton's thin which I've blitzed in the food processor with a tablespoon of cinnamon and a tablespoon of sweetener and it's quite crunchy and this is going to be the base of my um, cheesecake and I've weighed out 13 grams, two points worth, I can't believe I was spending two points on it, of golden syrup. Now I'm going to add that to the 10 biscuit base and that's going to form the base of my uh, cheesecake. Okay, so I've heated up the golden syrup and um, just for about 15 seconds, I'm going to start spooning in the 10 biscuit crumbs. This is a fantastic idea um, I came up with and I'm very proud of myself. I'm just going to give that whisk together and start forming it into my uh, dish. So, sadly, I can't find my small release tin. <clears throat> tin. I've just tasted it, it's why I'm coughing. It's absolutely blooming gorgeous. It's got like, it's like a ginger nut taste to it. Yummy. So, uh, I've just popped it in and pressed it down with the back of the spoon, like so. And then I'm just going to spoon over the uh, banana cork mix. And I have added a bit of uh, trivia and also about a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger. So I just need to start piling that on, like so. And then I'm going to top it with some um, five grams of almonds, a point. So I'm just going to finish that. I'll get back to it in a second. So there you go, it's in the dish. Just going to sprinkle over five grams of almonds. There you go. And I've got a few crumbs left, a few crisp biscuit crumbs on the top. Well, I'm calling them biscuit crumbs, but you know they're a Warburton thin. <laughs> okay, I don't think I've forgotten anything. Um, I've used a heaped teaspoon of ginger in the whole of this recipe. And uh, there it is, absolutely scrummy, going in the fridge now. And I'm going to enjoy that later with my new tea. Just going to get my tea to show you, one minute. And this is how um, I've sort of, sort of drawn the line of, yes, the menu's over and I don't need to snack anymore. I've, started, I've switched to these after dinner tea, uh, roasted chicory and cardamom, some of my favourite, and fennel. Some of my favourite ingredients there, and that helps me draw the line after eating my scrummy pudding. But anyway, time to go and dish my dinner up and pop that in the fridge.